Alrighty, this has sound. Let's play this full. It's very cute. Again, this is really well done. I, to, the comments that I have are just kind of pushing little things here and there. And also, again, in the categories of is this different or is this really something that needs to be addressed? But when I watch this, I'm going to bring down the sound a bit here. There's something where he sees this. Hey, I like the content that he wants to be like Buzz and he sees that built together to be like that. That's, that's pretty cute. But he is a bit... I would push that just because he has always kind of push poses where it's a bit more over there a bit more relaxed because you have that hand that's so relaxed on on the uh on the hip there on the holster so instead of so straight i would have him lean a bit away from this so that when you go hmm into that that way the root will go over there so to show i want to get to this it's a bit of a, a change in position from the left to the right you have that already a little bit here but i think we can push that just a bit more because then you can always be a bit further away here and then he goes huh and that's when he goes and he straightens a bit. And I think on that, when he has that suspicious look, you can also potentially start changing the hand pose, which kind of relaxing goes, but kind of maybe the hand goes up a bit, maybe almost off the holster and the belt. And then he gets into the, to that. There's great stuff there. I love all of this here. Grabbing that. All the classic leg moves. Again, I say classic. Well, I say this as a, uh, as a viewer and fan of the Toy Story franchise, not, not as someone who animated on it. As you get onto this, there's that energy that goes this way, but there's something about all that movement. Again, it's a really nice separate frames there. But as you do this, it feels very straight and very straight down. So kind of like what I tell my students, like A to B back to A. And I would give this an A to B to C. Just kind of change that direction a little bit, even if it kind of lands over there. Then when you have that, ha ha. There's something, might just be me, but maybe, because it's not, it's, you know, it's it's built together. You can get away with maybe potentially that wing angle, maybe like that, only because you can, you have a uh, a cleaner separation between the wing and this. This feels like it's it would be right there. And I'm very picky about tangents and how things kind of flow together in terms of lines, but be kind of neat, just kind of push that. Either it's something more like that not in terms of down movement but i mean the color in front of it so if you do this that the wing might be higher so you have that line like this that might be a better idea so you follow that that line there so maybe that wing is here a bit higher and then you got just the color silhouette in front of that the thing about the next part is that that's all cute i like that maybe a bit close maybe a bit lower but it's cute i like that but when he does this to me he does it again and it's kind of a bit repetitive. I think this is nice and clean in terms of the silhouette. But once you get into this, I mean, could you go full buzz and do the whole laser thing, maybe? Or just something else where it's like, oh, 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 I am, you know, I am buzz now. But what I like about this is that, I mean, he does go up here. But I'm thinking he does this and he's low. And then the next pose, he could be high proud da, 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 even though he has it kind of here but something something with difference and then when he hears the sound because he's so high he can go back down name maybe not that squatty but just a bit lower so it's kind of like haha i hear sounds i want to go smaller and make myself less seen i think that could be an interesting uh change because right now you're at that height and then and then it's the same there's no there's no bigger like oh what happened like i think i will push into a different pose just to kind of change his his headspace say how oh, i'm you know i can be strong as well and then oh what is this because then he goes straight into that and that's all cute and watch this again here oh yeah there's something where it goes and that could be a push this way because here's the door he wants to get away from the danger so in that pose change leaning a, a bit more to the left and then and even that potentially could have a bigger whoa over there because right now it feels like you're going this way and once you stop here it's straight down so it feels like that is what's going on versus that where we kind of land a bit more to the left but it's super cute really well done love the render too could totally be in the movie i mean you know, again as always subjectively speaking as a fan but that is that thanks
All right, let's put this in full first. There is sound. We pretended. We lied. Oh. All right. It's very cool. Also, because the sound is from Galaxy Quest. I love anything Galaxy Quest. Now, the reason why I'm picking this one, there's some really cool stuff in there. And I think my main comment will be in terms of the reactions on his face and kind of the thought process. But if you play this from the beginning, we pretended. I like that there's a we pretend like actually in a head accent going this way. The only thing I would probably tweak there, it's just a bit symmetrical. And I would just kind of tweak the shape a bit more. Not to have like, you know, like the one eyebrow thing, but just less symmetrical, even on the mouth. We pretend we pretend it. It starts to be there, but I think we could push that a bit more in the corners. And I think in terms of composition, I would just scoot him a little bit over, just a tad. We pretend. It's just, he's a little bit edgy there. I think the eye line is kind of okay. Maybe it's a bit high. Not that we know right now where those eyes are. If you go further, you can see they're fairly lower. They would be down here. But I think that just is just a bit high. So I would, I mean, you could bring that a bit higher a little bit. Could you bring me a mix? Maybe bring this up a bit higher and then lower the uh, the eye line just a tad. We pretended. And if you look at the structure, it's hard to see there, but we need to get a little bit out of there. I know these are all hard surface things, a specific way of how he moves, but anything. We pretended. Just some, I would love to see something because it's such a shell. I know that's what it is, but um, something in there. We pretended. We pretended. And I think we pretended. Pretended, just a, a, a bigger stretching. Pretended, actually, let me put on the scrubbing here. We pretended. Just a bit more teeth, I think would be nice. Just a little bit. We pretended. We pretended. And also, it feels like sometimes the scrubbing is a bit off. That's why I'm hesitant in, in bringing we, it back on. But we like the, t t the teeth closed for the T is not quite there. We pretended. It feels we like it's always open there. Watch out for that. Tended. I love this here, but little things that I love here is that he doesn't quite get it. And it's like, it's hopeful. Like visually, it's hopeful. It goes up and also towards the person talking. And there's a little bit of what? And they could have a little bit of a lean over. And this is the biggest one where to me, He's, he stares a lot. Again, watch our eye line. I, I like that little, just that little look. It's like he's he's thinking, hesitating. You got the, the Toy Story offset blink is there. We lied. We lied. And I like that also that like it's a reconfirmation of we lied, we did like with the nod. The thing that I'm looking at, if I think it's scrubbing out here, is that not that this is, you know, from from a, a technical or acting point wrong but my thought was there that what if he has a slight hesitation in saying it so he breaks eye contact so there could be a moment of of him looking and then we lied there's a little moment of should i say it maybe i should or relax those eyebrows so they get a bit more pathetic a bit, a bit less you know not angry but kind of concerned looking we lied just something even during rely you have it a little bit in there where it goes up i'm maybe pushing that a bit more but that's to me the biggest thing where it's such a stare i get it here but then we lied i, I wish there was a, just a little bit more because he ends up being almost a bit one note in terms of the thought process and how he's talking to the character it would be need to have a bit of a either like a resolution like i'm really going to say it or should i say it? like you, there are many ways you can go there but i feel like a little bit of complexity there in terms of the thought process and then saying something would be really cool we lied Aww. and i love that i love that the drop in here Aww. and then going back Aww. with a little bit of tension in there i think this is really cool i really like that ending there Aww. and all the technical things of the wiggly eyes are great but that's that yeah to me there's some really good stuff it's nice and subtle i like the choice of audio I would just have an extra layer of performance and just, like I said, it could be anything. He's, he's more determined to say it or he hesitates for a little bit or he feels guilty or 
there's you know there's stern look but then almost sad that he has to say that i think there's there's almost a missed opportunity in terms of what we could bring there in terms of acting complexity and that's that thanks all right let's play this in full here first there's no sound beep, 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 beep. i can make sounds here beep, 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 beep. Watch. All right, lots of cool stuff. Let me just reframe a tiny bit here. So there's some good timing there in terms of boom, and then that holds. I think it's a bit rubbery. Again, given the hard shell and just kind of looking at what the movies were doing, it's a bit, not that animated on them, just looking as a, as a viewer, as a fan. This has felt a bit soft and rubbery in terms of the structure. That's pretty cool. I would almost straighten slightly more to give this just a bit more room, just a bit higher in the knee and a bit more negative space and open this up a tiny bit. It's tricky with, with all the, the structures there. That's all great. The rhythm is really good. But there's also something about where it comes to a sudden stop. You can see the spacing wise with, I can put in the, the onion skinning here. It goes up to here. Up to here, there's a little bit of a camera move, but still, you can see how the head actually goes down a little bit. So it feels like it hits that wall, boom, right there. So I would personally just kind of ease in into that and then drop this. I don't. To me, it feels like you would put the feet here. Maybe I should switch color so it's not green on his green thing. But I would personally put the feet here to then get a really clean silhouette in terms of that. And then you got this here, and then you can do that. Even though it's a bit twins, it could be a slight change in the arm pose. But I think having the feet on top, squishing that little guy there, and because of this here, there could be a bit of a, an offset. So maybe legs out and then maybe less there. So more bent here, but maybe a bit of a, uh, uh, a slight tilt there. So you can go, so it kind of, has that direction because it's going there versus it's straight up, but then actually goes this way, if that makes sense. Like that seems better, but a bit of a weird connection there. So I will bring that um, the turret, gun turret down. And like I said, bring this, the character up higher. It seems like a muddy silhouette a little bit. That, but you have speed lines and stuff. And to me, I would have then cheated a little bit in terms of a blur i know nothing has blur here but or or at least have some speed lines to take away the strobiness there's something stroby about right this section there and maybe also breaking up the shapes into something else there's something where once you get into this it starts to feel slightly repetitive just because of the angle and the shape so maybe that would have helped as you start turning as it gets faster to start adding those speed lines and then into that this one at the end, I felt like this is all cool, but bring up the guy here and this guy here. Just kind of frame everything higher or tilt the camera down. <sighs> Same thing here as we're done. We're we're so low here with so much room. I would just kind of reframe that a little bit, even though you might argue, well, that's in the in my horribly drawn thirds here. It's nicely down there, but I would still I kind of tilt down a bit. <sighs> and this one. There's something about the, but it's almost like you want to go again, where it's that hold seems to go this way and I will continue to go up a bit more. It's kind of, you want that, uh, that up, that feel of that stretch. And then that way, when you go down here, it's not straight, but you have a slight, slight angle into that. And then with the exit, just it, to me, it's, it's mainly rhythm and path. Because if I watch this, there's, Good stuff there. It just like I said, feels like ah, oh, we just you want you want that. Like there's so much energy going out, you want that to continue just a bit longer. And even that could be. Let me see. Even that could have potentially like one or two frames of a longer hold. Again with the with the legs out for bigger squash, and then maybe it's also the evenness could be could have maybe slower roll here. And then speed up with the speed lines into that. But the mechanics are really cool. I like the complexities here of all of that. Gets ready. Yeah, and it's something a bit more a bit held there. It's also very 
squash there and that arm is right there where that wing is so to me i would keep that but then i would bring that leg a bit lower and then you can almost break the frame here with that arm and then the wing and it kind of works there just give it kind of a, a, a line through there that's the path of the flight path but also in there in the line of action but i, I like this I like that it kind of pushes himself up in the air to get there i would just kind of push this into this so it doesn't feel like that and even here at the beginning as the character comes in i feel like we get too soon uh a good gonna say too soon of a glimpse of the robots a weird english here <laughs> but that coming in it just forms tangents it's, it's slightly overlappy there and then we get to this we're so close so close almost having tangents that we always so close that you might say yeah but then you know it's a close call and that's why they're fighting but there's something when you watch this like did they hit each other did did this guy push this guy i'm not quite sure so i would probably you can also reframe so that he lands a bit more here and then leave the robot there so there's a bit more of a distance to make that a bit more comfortable and when he gets here i would kind of push that a little bit with a hop and then off like a little bit of a straightening of the legs body goes up to then go down into the quick steps and then it would be cool that when he runs here and he gets shot to not stop i will continue and it would shoot the legs and then it can go down and almost crash slide just a couple of frames just like a little visual tiny thing of these come off it rolls down slides a bit and then the next shots will then push him back you can still end the same way you can have a little bit of pieces of the legs here and fly off and bounce and that's about that Tiny things like this when that that leg pieces here is right there creating a little bit of a tangent i'll probably go a bit lower and then break silhouette just a little bit but it's cool cool and dynamic just a little picky notes on rhythm and silhouette and and you know like once it gets so good like in this clip i get just a bit pickier there because i know you can handle it but that is i don't know you at all i'm assuming you can but it looks awesome great work and that is that thanks all right, it is a sound. Let's play this in full. You cannot pass. All right, bring that aside a bit. All right, this is so cute. I I brought this up just because I want to show it. I want to have that in the in the selection just because it's cute. It's awesome. Um, not super much to say in terms of animation. There's not not saying that there's not that much going on, but it's very straightforward i think the very first thing is that he gets a bit lost with the colors here i wish either you would cheat the flames to be a bit lower or something you know because you have different way by the way i love those flames that is the best thing ever a little toy flames it's great so either change some of the things or maybe and it's kind of a repeat but either change the position so he's a bit cleaner or, and this is the, if you go forward here, this is the, right there, that's the widescreen line, right? So if he's here, what if he is actually bigger in frame? This is all the white stuff here. And then you got the uh, the fork and the arms are out here. So it's more in the foreground. It really stands out more. We understand more what's going on. And then by now he will be already off screen. You know, we're translating forward, but I think that would be okay. That would be the only thing here is that it gets a bit lost. Then, as Rex comes in here, I think we could play a little bit with the silhouette where the head is maybe a bit more profile and as he does this, gets a bit more over there with the mouth so that it's not so straight on. It just becomes a tube. And I think we can play a bit more so that the jaws are, you know, the, uh, the mouth shapes have a bit more negative space. That negative space here is a bit more visible kind of like let me find a frame you know something like that where we understand that structure and that is just a bit too straight on i feel like this feels maybe a bit too hands down we can maybe bring them up a bit more a bit more aggressive fingers I mean, there's not so much you can do with that toy structure there but and maybe even that could be slightly angled not to make it too limber here but so that it's a slightly bit more angled so that on the land you go we go from here into this starting to break the here a bit but something where 
it feels just a bit simple. Again, it's, it's a, somewhat of a simpler toy. We don't go into photo real stuff, but something just a bit more about because it is heightened, right? This is more like this could be a, a pretend play where in the movie this would be real flames and later on it's, it's revealed to be toy flames. But I think we can push that moment a bit more in terms of complexity there. And I will bring in those elbows in so they're not out humor a bit more in creaturey. That's great. I love all this. Love that they're here now in with little fists. This here, again, it's all really fun. It's, it's not saying that what I'm saying here is going to be better. It just might just be different. But and these are toys. This is all pretend. But what if with all of this rah, cut to this, he's actually moving back with a bit more of a squint and the brows going up a little bit as in there's so much wind he's going like it's that that yelling in his face and then he goes forward like, and then he goes forward against the uh, the roar to do that and that way you have also a bit more contrast of going back visually and then going forward visually now this is not lip sync because these are just the shapes but i know i'm going to be very picky here but the I wish there was a bit more something in the lips and something in the head. Pass! Like something in there. Now, technically, to any students, I would recommend not to pick that audio just because it's too classic. Um, I mean, it's not the super classic You Shall Not Pass, but it cracked me up. I think it works really well. They're pretend playing. I think this is really cute. Why not? But I would just push that a bit more. And even here, pass! Like a, a continuation of the, the squeeze in the brow pass and then reveal a bit. Again, it's it's beyond being actual toys, it's in the kind of the pretend play, it's a bit more heightened. And even here, I would be careful with breaking these and I would stay in that toy structure and also um uh, creature with the elbows in. I mean cats and stuff can bring in our elbows, but just in terms of what, what this is, we're pretending it to be. Like that's fine. Watch out this just on that frame. That hand falls right into that arm, feeling like this, like that line. So I'll break up the silhouette a bit more. It's almost, it almost feels a bit too over animated with those arms. But really cute idea. I love the whole, again, the bridge idea. It's all cutely replicated with toys. Love that. This one, it feels a bit, this is in position. A. I mentioned that before in a different shot. And then you go up, and that's B. But then you go back into A. Where, is, where are my drawings here? This to this. Yeah, it's fairly similar. It's like a tiny thing. It could be from here landing here, from here landing here. Just something a bit different in the start and stop position. The only thing here is that... Like, the sound is so good... I know this is weird to now comment on the sound design. It's all taken from the movie, but then here... It just feels like too much of a separate sound included. There's something where that sound feels a bit more complex. Like, you can might as well pretend that these are rock sound. How it drops off, and maybe this is extra, extra super picky, where that doesn't just pop... Like, go straight down but kind of has a like a pop and kind of pretending so it's a bit more like one angle down for some asymmetry and complexity i don't know this is super picky but and this i think we have a multiple it gets kind of lost with the complexity there and i think maybe there could be something in the eye stretch potentially i i don't know to me it feels like you want to bring that arm and lollipop up here and not out this way it feels like an extra swipe there oh it's kind of picky but that is that it's really cute i love this whole setup the idea is great i love those flames anyway that is that nicely done thanks all righty there's sound here let's play this in full well i was just wondering because i couldn't figure out why you would throw home when we've got a two-run lead you let the tying run get on second and we lost the lead because of you now you start using your head well, I all righty some really cool stuff here. Let me bring down the uh, the voice just a tad. So, first of all, there's some really good intensity, especially through here. I like that you got that tilt in the head, just that that whole body attitude. 
It's a really good head shake. I like that gesture here. With all of that. That's all really cool. But I would deviate from the reference. And the reason I'm saying reference is because this is a league of their own. And it, it just like the general moves feel a bit referency, as in it's a bit stiff. And even though I like, you know, there's a certain intensity with the stiffness, I get that. Especially through here. That, especially that, bam, that pull down with those arms. How he got the tension here and the wiggle in the hat is really neat. It's really nicely, um, you know, looking at the reference, really nicely incorporated in there. But then it's just kind of that. It just feels very referency. Now, I say referency, hold on, let me just show you what it is. So here's the original there. So we're we're matching uh, sounds. Sorry, it's not. I wasn't exactly precise in all this, but you can see how closely you stick to the reference. So I think that as an exercise is fine. The problem with sticking so closely to the reference from someone else, an established actor, a you recognize the scene. Like I recognize the scene. I recognize these are acting choices by someone else, and it's not something that that is as original as it could be. Let's pretend, though, for anybody watching, this is the reference that you shot. Like, this is what you did in terms of acting. I would still loosen up certain things. When we've got it Especially when you have moments like here. You got a, a big arm movement where I would loosen up the chest. And then weave. There's a lot of, there are a lot of moments, but because the head is so, so strong and stiff, this might work in live action. But then in CG, it ends up being... Kind of ventriloquist thing of there's a lot of movement in here but nothing is connected to the head so it says we we i will bring down the head a bit and up really to that 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 jaw movement all that that anger that energy in the voice has an effect on the head even here lee could be more lead kind of caricature those moments stylize that where you have a little bit of a, a move up and turn in the head that's really nice. Again, like I said, the tension there, but it, he also kind of rests in that line a lot. So it could be you start here, and at the end, it's slightly more turned with a slight, you know, in Y, in a slight more roll to the side. So it's uh, no, 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 with a bit more of a uh, squeeze in the head. That's. I would probably get out a bit more to the left get away from the mouth a bit it's really nice though because you can tell that's you know it's a good actor where you have the gestures not super time with the it's more natural like the way he, like when he goes up and everything again i would stylize that and give maybe this arm maybe lower just not cover the face too much and then when he goes here and we lost the lead i would bring up the root a bit just like little things where we're not so stuck and with that, push it and get more in his face. It's because of you. It's because of you. Move that, that body forward, maybe hunching a bit more. The root forward, again, closing the gap here. Now you start using your head. And then for, even though it's like, you got to do this again. It's in, in the character's face. At that point, you could potentially go up. Again, to break from the reference. Straighten up. And like, because he's done arguing. You're telling him, now go do this. It's almost like mentally he is now disconnecting from that character. And I would use that again for contrast. So we're not constantly in this pose. So when he's done here, straighten up and, you know, stronger, higher. There's also visual hierarchy Then I'm higher than you. Now do your job type of thing. Um, so to me, I would kind of tweak it like that to get away from the reference. Other than that, it's really nicely incorporated from the reference. Like I think, like I said, those moments are really, really good. Like there's a lot of good tension there, but just don't stick too closely. But generally, I would try to um like for an exercise it's good but for your own shot for a real kind of use your own acting choices um to to put that into a shot like that all right thanks all righty this one has sound let's play this <laughs> just like it's very quiet very quiet sounds <laughs> just that i know it's a fan of face slaps and hits and stuff. Anyway, 
So there are a couple of reasons why I want to show this one. A, I like the cameras in like generally it has a nice handheldy loose feel with kind of a reframing there. And then over there. That being said, as much as I love cameras, the camera moves. It just feels a bit almost too much where it's almost distracting. So if I go one by one, this is all cool with the actions. The only thing I would say is that it's always tricky when you do things straight towards camera. Because you get it flattens everything. We don't quite see the line of action. Especially towards the end here, you have a bit of a muddy silhouette. I think this could be something where he might, where is he coming in here? Starting here, even here. Roll. And then at the end, more three quarter where imagine again that forearm is not and that wrist are not so flat where you have that forearm and then the wrist and then the other arm could be here with the other hand here looking a bit more this way and you can still kind of work this way just slightly more three quarter to open up that silhouette to make these shapes work a bit better but like all like technically it's all neat <laughs> maybe a bit mirrory i like there's an offset in the leg maybe the arms could be just a bit different like especially like big frames like that Kind of stand out a bit. Other than that, it's really nicely done here with the roll. And I like that little, huh? But even that could be a bit where you start here, you go down and you go up here. It's almost a bit the same. It's actually the third critique now. Funny, it's kind of almost like a theme in the ones that I picked. Where you start here and you go down and you go back up to where it was. It's almost like you want to be in that tension and he goes, huh? And then this, you, you soften a bit and the head is a bit more over there. So you start here go down to here, end up here. Maybe not this wide of a distance, but generally, so you don't have a repeat, and you go from, from tense to, huh, and that relaxation, like, what was that sound? You can open up the body just a bit more. <laughs> Let me frame through this. <laughs> he falls in fairly flat. Ba -ba -bang. Now, since we are doing some camera stuff, I feel like we are very low. I'm expecting now the door to open and someone to come in, just in terms of framing. So I would tilt down and, and you know, forky could be around here, even on this here. Again, I like the looseness, but then I would bring up his head a bit here, just differently uh, framed. But then it feels like if you're doing such a handheldy thing, then you might as well go full on with red button. I mean, that is not red, but you know what I mean. Red button that says record. You know, maybe it's someone filming this. Maybe you can have even a sign at, at the beginning. Rex going, all right, let's go. And they're, they're doing, they're making their own little movie or something. Just because right now the handheld is so exaggerated. It's like, I feel like, what, what is that adding? Why, why do we have it? Especially at the end. With all of that, I, this could easily just be like more stylized, less handheld. You can still do like a quick wipe, pan over there and just hold or cut to this. And it feels like the camera draws a bit too much attention to itself. But it is nicely done. It's not like it's it's like camera stuff are tricky, but especially when you translate or, or any type of you know, movement, especially translates the speed so sometimes too fast, it loses the weight. The pans can be too linear and can too, be too harsh and how you turn around. I think from a technical point of view, it's nice and loose. I just feel very, I'm watching a moving camera. I like all of this though. For for a technical thing, I would even here bring in the uh, the fingers a bit closer, and then just on that splat over one or two frames, then uh, spread those, and that's that. So nothing huge, just little comments here and there, just for silhouette and action and reframing and potentially at least to me kind of toning down the camera a little bit, or go full on and say this is handheld because someone is operating it handheld, and and then make a bigger deal out of it, make a point out of it that someone is. Um, you know, filming this, maybe at the end with this, the camera could go turn around for a selfie and then whoever is filming is going, we're also doing that, you know, the face palm, I don't know, something where you can potentially push this, but I'll leave it at that. All right, thank you. All right, there is no sound, but it's placed in full first. That's my, that's my sound design, fully sound design. All right, lots of cool stuff here. For me, the main comments are just right there. When this reaction happens with this and then that, that I feel like we could potentially push. I say we, I'm not doing any of the work here. 
But I like this already. I'm always a big fan of entrances and surprises. So coming into that moment here has a nice complex move into a roll. Also from far away to close. It's at a diagonal. Lots of cool stuff. I like that he gets up and then goes whoosh, back a little bit. Just again for contrast and movement and then opening up for the silhouette. That's nice. Gets into that for the push. I just feel like right there we are at this height and at this height and it starts to push. But I feel like we could push. There's a lot of pushing here, but getting to this where we potentially lower. We can kind of push that line of action, maybe even the face again. So there's something about pushing this more in terms of a pose. So that when you go, oh, then you can relax and go up with the body, if that makes sense, right? You're going, and then oh, instead of pushing. So I think that could be a bigger contrast. So you go from high to low push with the face. Even this feels a bit harsh there with that neck there. I don't know, maybe potentially find a way of, like I said, go potentially lower, but then also the head where it's squished against this. I know it's tricky because there's so much mass here that has to go in there, but this is soft. You could put that maybe behind it and cheat it so that the head is there, but you continue that type of line of action versus that. And then that way you have somewhere to go to end up here, right? So you're, like I said, a bit lower, head is maybe here, and then oh, you can go up a bit higher. And then I think that's pretty good. Not like it's floppy. Woody's a bit floppier and it's oh, as a toy thing. And I like that it's leaning against this so that when it goes away, this happens. The only thing I would say is that it just feels a bit, there's a slight rotation Y, which is good. It just feels a bit simple. I wish there could be something else. Even that, I'm not sure. Now I'm just thinking out loud and this is not interesting to watch for you, but I wonder if there's something else where this just feels, not that it's silhouette-wise twinned, but it, it's different, but in terms of, you know, where the arms are positioned, but I feel like, is there anything we can do to push that <gasps> pose more where he is maybe looser with the head over there? Again, not that it's loose and floppy like, like Woody, but something where we can push this or maybe this leg is higher and this is lower, just something a bit pushed in the pose. And then as you go back here, as this starts to move, I would be just a bit pickier where the arm starts to move, the body goes a bit forward and make it looser, maybe more, more floppy and toy-like. Again, not floppy as in, uh, you know, like a soft cloth type of woody thing, but just a bit more softer in the, in the uh, ragdoll type of thing. And then even with this here, like that root goes up a bit here and it's almost one axis back. I feel like this could be a bit more complex. Again, you move this up, the arm would react to this a bit more. Just this section, I feel like could be just a bit more complex. And then when it goes back into, I got to do something. I would kind of push that moment into maybe potentially first because you don't have really um, sound that you have to stay in sync with. So you could do a moment of... <gasps> Like he, get, he wakes back up out from toy to him. Just a little bit of a change in, in the rotation of the body. Something bigger in the head turn. Then you get into that, which is cool. Feels very buzzy. Gets a bit muddled maybe over here in the silhouette. Maybe you can go further so it's not so overlappy. So we can go maybe more. And then we have a cleaner silhouette in terms of um, what's it called? What the arms and the legs are doing. And then you can come back into that, which is nice. And that's the end of the shot. So little things here and there, little picky things here and there. But it's a cool idea. Again, I like the usage of space, the complexity of it. Playing with the the uh, toy and the not toy factors. A lot of cool elements brought into this, into a cool shot. So that's that. Thanks. This one has audio. Let's play this in full. Even though there was no reason to hope. And all my logic said that I would never see this place again. It's very nice. I'm not sure if that's cast away or not, but I like that choice of audio. I like the, the plate here and it works well with the mood Even though there was no and the audio as well. It's all really nicely done. And because of that, I'm going to be extra picky. <laughs> There's not much to say in terms of animation. To me, generally, he is very centered and I would bring him a bit more to the left so it's a bit more in the thirds also because at the end when we have that eye that eye that finger come out our eye is here and then cut to whoa we're way over there and i think if we can bring the character a bit more into the thirds and it's a lot of empty space but maybe around here ish 
and then you have the hand here. It's less of a jump from here to here. It could also be kind of covering. Now you want you want to see the doctor, but you can maybe bring that hand a bit more. So just, again, the visual jump is not as huge. And speaking of of that moment, watch out. Very picky, but you are in a uh, kind of index out pose, and then not really here. I would just kind of push that to really make that consistent. You might argue from that angle, that's what it is, the same thing. It doesn't really matter. That's just visually what would fit, not what 3D wise it's really that. So I would just kind of tweak that just because I'm super picky. And then, and now it's again with the structures, the, the way they're built with shoulders, no shoulders. But the thing is that I would push this area a bit more to me. And also because you have all that nice lighting, I would have a bigger kick so we can see maybe a reflection. There's definitely, if you look at this here, there's reflection through there. There's something highlighty there. There are lots of lights there that I would cheat and I'm kind of missing seeing a bit more of those eyes. It's a bit in the dark there. But I like that. Going up with the eyebrows slightly open here. Even though they're... Even though they're... And I think, I would, to me personally, I would, the even, I would start a couple of frames or, uh, earlier so it's more like even, it's like he's, he's getting, he's thinking about it, then he wants to say it. Right now, the lip sync kind of starts right when the audio starts. Even though there's no reason to hope. But it's nice and subtle. It doesn't overtake the shot. Even though there's no reason to hope. There's really nice head accent in there. Even though there's no reason to hope. The animation, I don't have that much to say. To me, it's just pushing, uh, you see the breathing, you see that, Especially when you scrub here, you can see the in and out. But then, and all my logic said that there's something in here where I would just push that a bit more. Just maybe a bit of a, a chest rotation or shoulders. I know it's you know the way they're built. It's not like it's it's in human form. It's still toys and with with the fabric and everything. But and all my logic said that. But I would just give that a bit more because right now it's all in here. Even if it's something that we is not super seeing but more feeling kind of like how you have the breathing and in and out there's no reason to hope and all my logic said that I and I know he has those eyes but there's something in here it might probably not work having a little a little bit of the lid so then you can open them I don't know probably not like it looks it looks very very woody like and all my logic there's just something in there as he has that that thought and opens up here. And all my life. There's just something that's very subjective where I feel like I want I want something a bit more, a bit of a change in the in the posture, just the body language, just a bit more. And all my logic said that I would logic said that I would never see this place. And then And all my logic said that as we go up here you can see logic said. the timing how it goes up with that hand, rest a bit and go forward. Again, besides the, the hand pose, I would, that I would never see. this seems very even in timing. And it would be nice to have a bit of a forward, just a little texture, a little forward stop, and then in. Never see it. And I feel like those fingers are going up a bit too soon versus hitting this, and then the pressure brings them out. Unless the intention is just to go in and then open on purpose. I would never see it. But to me, it feels like, because it's so even, it feels like I don't see that as a, a I don't know. Me, I reg register that as it's going to contact I this. And then it's going to open up and and push, and maybe even spread those fingers a bit. This place. But nice change into that. The focus on here, maybe reducing the depth of field a bit so that the A is a bit more in focus. Super picky, but it's a really cool shot. Really nice look. This could be really nice in a movie. Really nice presentation. Picky notes again. It's not something where like, oh, how you know, how dare you that the shot is horrible. It's just little things as I'm looking over it. Maybe this could be cool. This could be cool, Th which might fall more into the uh, typical critique category of this is different. Doesn't mean that it makes it better, but these are my thoughts. But I wanted to pick out that shot also just because it's awesome and I wanted to talk about it. Alrighty, thanks. No, I know I'm not smarter than you. Then how did you catch me? You had disadvantages. What disadvantages? You're insane.
It's almost time. I'm so ready. Jim? This was an amazing movie. It's amazing as Apollo 13 is up in a whole nother way. <laughs> it takes you about 10 minutes to get into the flow, and then you're uh -huh, in it, and uh -huh. you're saying, wow. Well, no, 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 no. I did that long enough. Then I got into a whole different line of work until I was downsized. I'm here to make sure that never happens again.